start recording. Okay, so yeah, let's start. Let's start. And yeah, last week and before last week, we mainly talking about at the uh, competitive advantage, competitive advantage. And from this week, and uh, we will talk about it, how to formulate, how to formulate the strategy in order to create and the sustain the competitive advantage. Okay, so competitive advantage. Uh huh. Mm, what is the purpose of the strategy? What you, why we are using the strategy in business or the management? What is the purpose of strategy? What is the purpose of win without fighting? Okay, good. Absolutely. That's the purpose of the strategy. Mm -hmm. Win without fighting. Good. And how to win without fighting? We must be able to create and sustain what? You said many things. You said that. How to win without fighting? We must be able to create and sustain what? Uh -huh. Nancy, Nancy. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So we must be able to create and sustain competitive advantage in order to win without fighting. Okay. That's the only one way to win without fighting according to the art of war. Good. So what are what are the competitive advantage? Okay. What is the competitive advantage? Mm -hmm. What is the competitive advantage? In Chinese, okay, you learn something from me. According to the art of war, okay, so exactly, exactly, yeah, Dao Tian Di Jiang Fa. Fa, okay, we call that is a five element, and that is conceptualized as competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. Competitive advantage, good, good, good. Good. However, we learned about a resource-based view. We learned about the resource-based view. Okay, and according to resource-based view, last week and before last week, resource-based view that is telling about it that we must create and we must be able to create and sustain the most scarce resource. Scarce resource, scarce resource. What is the scarce resource? The scarce resource have a few number of the characteristics, but however, the scarce resource cannot be replicable. Scarce resource cannot be imitatable, and the scarce resource cannot be copied by my competitors. What are the most scarcest resource that make us to have a certain core competency. What is that? What is source of the scarce resource? Exactly. That's a human. That's a human power of the human. Okay. And then more specifically, what kinds of what kinds of human power? What kinds of spe what spe more specifically, what kinds of the human power make us more competitive make may yeah ha, yeah yeah make us more stronger. Make us competitive. Specifically, do you remember? Uh -huh. This. Can you see that? This. Core competencies. Okay. Core competencies. And uh, what is the core competencies of the human? Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, KSAO. What are those KSAOs? K. Hmm. What are knowledge, skill, ability, and others? Exactly. Mm, 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 mm. Exactly, others. Okay. Others uh, like attitude or motivation or something, something, something. Okay. Whatever, that is our 
compete, yeah, competence-based approach. Okay, competence-based. You learned about okay, so this kind of the approaches in the strategy management. Okay, first one is a competitive advantage, advantage approach. Okay, and you learned about resource-based approach, resource-based view approach okay and you learned about the scars resource scars resource theory okay and you are you learned about it, the competence based approach <laughs> yeah consciously or conscious uh, consciously or unconsciously you learned about this kind of the different strategy approaches we call that as a paradigm strategy paradigms Okay, whatever I am saying. And yeah, last week we talked a little bit more about it, the resources, like a tangible resource, intangible resource, and the organic capability, something, something. Okay, and then I summarize that kinds of things as capital, multiple capital. Okay, so multiple capitals, like, uh, yeah, in order to make, yeah, what is the purpose of the business? What is the purpose of business? Do you remember? What is the purpose of business? Why we are doing the business? Exactly, Nancy. We want to make money. Money is capital. Money making. Okay, that is okay. We want to create more capital. Capital. And what is the money? <laughs> what is the money? Okay. And many body talks about at the money 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 is my mission money is my want money is something something what is the money we started with that question what the hell is the money everybody talks about it, the money but however it's not easy to define the money okay so then yeah like the car Marx did and karma is so what is the definition of the money according to car Marx? car Marx, what is money Money is what? According to karma, money is what? You know that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know the surplus? Ah, exactly, surplus. Surplus comes from the labor time, okay, especially yeah, labor time. So then, according to the Karl Marx, time is money. Okay, that is one of the most scientific approach to understand the money. Really, I agree. I totally agree with that. So that beautiful idea, yeah, that gives us a lot of understanding. So what the hell is the money? Capital. That's capital. Das. Capital. Uh -huh. Good. However, that's around 100 years ago. And uh, we may have a better understanding about more tangible money or intangible money or the more psychological money, something like that. So I summarize those kind of the multiple capitals. Okay. There must be the financial capital financial capital, organizational capital, why Apple make more money than the Huawei, organizational capital, and the social capital, who do you know that? Financial, organized social, and absolutely competency, your personal competency is a human capital, what do you know? Human capital, one, two, three, four, okay, is easy to understand. However, we are going in more personal level of the capital okay even though you have those kind of the financial organization or social and the human capital what if you do not have any motivation to work you do not work okay that's useless so that is a psychological capital psychological capital all there okay and absolutely what if you have you are sick can you do something no Mm -hmm. We call that is a physiological capital. Health is money. <laughs> really, you are observing those kind of things now. So coronavirus, okay? 
So we are now burning a lot of dollars because of the coronavirus. An infectious, an infectious, an infectious disease kills a lot of money. That burns a lot of money. Why we are experiencing tens of thousand dollars are burning in front of our eyes because we do not guarantee the physiological capital. I think so. Okay. And finally, there must be the spiritual capital. Purpose. What is the purpose of your life? What is the purpose of your working? What is the purpose of your job? Why you work? Okay. So, for example, why do you want to get A from this course? Any reason? And many body will talk about it. Okay, so if I can get a good grade from the schools and the courses, maybe I will get a I will get a the higher GPA. If I get a better high, higher GPA, maybe I can apply for the good school and then maybe and then I can go to the good school because that and then if I go there maybe I can I can get a good job. If I can get a good job, maybe I can I can make more money. Then, if I can make more money, maybe I can get a beautiful wife or other handsome, handsome husband. Okay, then I will be happy. That will occur. Can you guarantee? No. <laughs> Absolutely no. Yeah. Because you don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows what will happen. And is there anybody who expected the coronavirus situation just three months ago? We don't know what will happen. Absolutely, we don't know. Mm, unfortunately, that's all life. However, if we have a purpose, If we have a goal, and if we have our mm, personal personal philosophy, probably personal standard, personal value that inspire that energize our body, mind, and spirit, that will help us to energize us to do something. That's a spiritual capital, I think. So, like this, if we want to realize many of our things into the tangible, tangible capital, value over something, value, okay, probably we need to cultivate and sustain those kind of the multiple capitals. I define that as a multiple capital approach. Okay, good. That's what we have learned so far. Mm -hmm. So any questions so far? No. So then can we go forward? Okay, good. And then, yeah, we mainly talking about at the competitive advantage, competitive advantage, capitals, whatever. Okay, competitive advantage, competitive. Ooh, the five forces and the core competencies, multiple capitals, they are all conceptual. And yeah, there's looks like a theory. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate it. But how about the, yeah, I was a practical business guy. I was a practical business, practical, yeah, practical business problem server. I was, okay, and the, you will be, okay, and the business problem server. So do we have time and do we need to understand those kind of the purpose, goal, concept things, the five forces? Ah, yeah, thank you, but how about the, we don't have time and uh, we don't need to do those kind of things because we are busy okay we must be give us a very give a very solid understanding solid problem solutions okay then in practical business what is the competitive advantage 
what is the competitive advantage in a market in a specific market okay that is the practical question not a theoretical something okay and yeah practically i don't need to teach this kind of stuff but i want to share i want to share my ideas okay good so then mm, let's make it simple what the hell is the competitive advantage in a market okay good 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 then yeah please help me please help me this is my question what laptop do you have now can you tell me what kinds of laptops are you using what kinds of notebook you have okay yeah, please tell me dell mm -hmm, thank you mac what mac what MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, Mac what? MacBook Pro, okay. MacBook or MacBook Pro? Dell, Dell, okay. MacBook Pro, okay, absolutely. Anybody else? Mac, MacBook Air. <laughs> MacBook Air. Hmm, light. Okay, anybody else? Mac, Dell. ThinkPad, absolutely. Lenovo ThinkPad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt? What is that? Acer? Acer Thunderbolt. Um, huh? Thunderbolt? Virgo, what is that? Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt? I thought. Sophie Sue. <laughs> oh, who is. Oh, Weber HP? Ooh. <laughs> Gaming laptop, Thunderbolt. I okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That must be a good. That must be a good thing. Okay, good, good, good. So overall, you many of you, more than half of you, may use a MacBook or the Mac MacBook Pro. Okay, so okay. Mac OS S, and the others that's various, and like a Dell or Thunderbolt, Acer, Surface, HP. Okay, so then this is my second question. Why did you choose that? Why did you buy that? Okay. Maple New Jersey. Yeah. Why did you why did you buy that? Performance of the computer, performance. Okay. Anything else? Mac New Jersey, why did you choose the MacBook Pro? Light in the OS, OS X, okay, OS X, and the uh, weight, okay, absolutely, uh, ladies, okay, that's the weight is very important. Mm hmm. Mm, did you go, okay, performance, and Weber, why did you choose the HP? And Yang, Yang, Ah, Dori, Dori, why did you choose a surface? Oh, why did you choose Acer? And personally, I have I have two laptops. One is a Mac Pro, Mac Pro 15, and now I am using the Asus VivoBook for my teaching. Why? What is the reason? Why did you choose that? Mm -hmm. My major is. <laughs> Yeah, I quit. Okay, <laughs> Chancy. So your Mac MacBook Air is was broken, and then you need to buy um you need to buy something quickly. Okay, then why did you choose that? Why did you choose the Acer? <laughs> why did you choose the Acer? Reason. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Anybody else? Did you choose the, your laptop? Why? And what is the reason? Why? Why? Why did you choose your laptop? Main users, lightweight, and the, the unique OS system, and the stable OS system. And however, moreover, the MacBook, okay, that's cool. Isn't it? Don't you think so? It's cool. Uh, 
And the Dell users or Acer users, maybe, okay, so maybe you choose those kind of products because that gives you a acceptable quality with optimal price, best price. Okay? This is that. So then maybe we can understand why people choose a certain product or service. Okay? Two competitive advantages comes from here. Okay, there is a U shape. There is a U shape of market share, high, low market share, and the return on investment or simply a value. This is value. Okay, so MacBook users, Dell or Lenovo users. Okay, let's see. Market share of the MacBook is relatively small, right? Absolutely. Okay. However, MacBook gives us a very high differentiated experiences. Differentiated, differentiated user experience. Different value. Okay. Exactly this. Uh, give me a second. Can I do that? Okay, let's see. That gives us uh, this differentiated user experience. However, why people choose the Dell or Lenovo? Because that gives us a best best price. Okay, and we call that is a price leadership with optimal, with acceptable water, with optimal quality. Uh huh. Good. And why the others are using the HP or Samsung, Sony? Okay, whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, is there anybody who are using the Samsung laptop, Samsung notebook, or the LG notebook in Chinese market? Samsung, LG laptop. And the Samsung and LG, they produce uh, many the laptops in China. But however, anybody use the Samsung or LG laptop? No. And anybody use the HP, HP laptop? Is it popular in China? And is there anybody who are using the Sony laptop? What is now happening on this kind of the brand or the, this, this kind of product? We call this this brand or the, this product are stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle, okay? They are stuck in the middle, in the under the U shape. And then what we happening? What is now happening? HP, Sony, Asus, uh, Sony, Samsung. What is now happening? They are now dying, and we call that is a draining out. Okay, we call that is a draining out from our market. What market? Chinese laptop market, okay? They are draining out. They are draining out. Okay, so, even though I introduced a lot of the multiple capital approach, or scarce resource approach, or the resource-based approach, or the five element, um, uh, Dao, Dao, Tian, Di, um, okay, so that is conceptual, but how about in practice, competitive advantage of a product or a service is differentiated user experience or best price, no more. That's our two competitive advantage in the market. That's all. Two. We have only two competitive advantage. Cost leadership, best price, or differentiated or unique user experience. Uh -huh. Let's see. That is this. Focused or differentiated or unique user experiences or forms or the value. Value, unique value. 
Mm -hmm. Or cost leadership. Cheaper, the better. Okay, let's think about it. Okay. Oh, uh, Weber. Or Virgo. Boys. Are you using the shampoo? Are you using a shampoo? Boys. Uh, where, where is boy? Boy, 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 boo. Eric, no. Mm, where is Eric? No. Eric, no. Jorain? Where is Baby, shoe, call, call shoe. Mm, baby, go. Are you using the shampoo? Okay. So, how did you choose the shampoo? Ah, Chansey. <laughs> How do you how do you choose your shampoo? Flick. Oh, really? Flavor? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Flavor. Mm. So you go to you go to somewhere, and the, there are tons of the there are, there are a lot of the different shampoo, and the boys we. You know that we are stupid and we don't care about the flavor, we don't care about the treatment, we don't care about the ingredient, we don't care about something. Look, there is shampoo and that looks good and the, the cheaper, the better. That's our choice. Okay. However, we see the brand and we see the optimal, we see the acceptable quality, acceptable quality with best price. That is the, our choice that gave us a cost of leadership. Okay, when we choose the commodity product, when we choose the commodity product, okay, we always look for the cost of leadership. Are you doing? Absolutely, we are doing that. More cheap, the cheaper the better. Okay, okay. So the Walmart always say like this: Walmart, 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 Walmart. Yeah, it's the Wenjo. Yeah, Wenjo people usually spell like this: Uoma, Uoma, Uoma. Yeah, whatever. Walmart. Walmart motto: Every day lower price. Every day low price. Every day lower price. Absolutely. People love to buy cheaper price, cheaper product with the optimal or the, with the acceptable quality. Taobao, everything. <laughs> Why the Chinese products are quite competitive? Why all around the world and the customers want to buy the Chinese product? Well, because they give us a value, cost leadership value. Optimal quality, acceptable quality, with the best price. Good. 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 Yeah, so the commodity product. product commodity product okay however let's ask a different question to the ladies ladies how do you choose a perfume a perfume or cosmetic product uh, lipstick lipstick how, how did you choose a lipstick Mm. There is a lipstick economy. Let's ask the lipstick. How did you choose the lipstick? Do you care much about the price? What make you choose the a certain specific lipstick? And what kinds of brand are you do you prefer? What kinds of brand do you choose to choose that the lipstick? Lipstick. Mm. My favorite Chanel. Chanel, yeah, Chanel, and yeah, what else? Chanel, uh, my favorite, uh, Christian Dior, Christian Dior lipstick, and absolutely the Shiseido, mm -hmm. one of my favorite. Anything else? Chanel, Dior, Shiseido, ah, Yves Saint Laurent, ah, Armani, yeah. Armani, Armani has a, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Armani has a lipstick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, anything else? Yves Saint Laurent and what else? 
lipstick. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Chanel, um, Louis Vuitton, no, no, Louis Vuitton, no, 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 what, what else, what else? TF, what is TF? TF, what is TF? What is the full name of that? Ah, Tom Ford, yeah, 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 yeah. right, right, okay. How about Tom Ford? That's acceptable, but how about, is it a, is it a luxury brand? Luxury. I don't think so. <laughs> Tom Ford is a luxury. Mm -hmm. Luxury. Mm -hmm. Tom Ford. <laughs> Be -be -to between. Between. <laughs> between. Okay. Okay. Good. Between. Between. Ah, yeah, yeah. Between. Yeah. Not, not yet. Not yet. The friend is not yet. Not, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Ah, MAC, MAC. Ah, yeah, thank you. Hulda, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hulda, where are you? Mm. Ah, ah, MAC and Barbary, I agree. Hermes, ah, Hermes, Hermes lipstick. <laughs> Hermes, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so, why <laughs> do you want to choose that? Choose those brand because of the price. I don't think so. Why did you want to choose the Tom Ford or um, uh, MAC, Barbary, Hermes, Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, Armani, Shiseido, Christian Dior? What make you choose those kind of brand or those kind of lipstick? Safe, okay, absolutely. Safety is another thing. Yeah, I agree. Safety is one thing. Anything else? Color, package. Anything else? Color, mm -hmm. absolutely. Safety, package. Mm -hmm. Do you really buy the product? Okay, so here is yeah. Let let's 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 talk frankly. Okay, let's talk frankly. Do you really buy a product or image of the brand? What make you happier? What if you bought you bought a Chanel or the Ipsen or a Tom Ford the lipstick? What make you happy? Why people buy those kind of product? Because of the quality? Because of the cheaper price? Really? What make you happy? What make the customers buy? Just color, just package, just service? No. Well, tell me. <laughs> uh, boys, I'm sorry, but however, yeah, so there is on there is another word. <laughs> There's, there is another word. We need to study. There is another word. We need to study. <laughs> the bigger logo, the better. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, 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 Weber, no, no, no. The bigger logo, the, no, no. The size of the logo is not a matter. Design is better. Exactly. Show off. Uh -huh. Show off. Okay. That help you to have more pride, have more happiness. You want to show off because at the, you will experience that the differentiate. You will experience the different she ate it or the unique differentiated or unique user experience yeah when you go to the armani and the, you can you can shop armani lipstick you know that that's not cheap but however though i love to do that and lipstick is relatively affordable and i will be happy 
I am consuming the brand. I am consuming the luxury image. I am proud of that. Customers in the market, we want to experience that the differentiated value, image, pride, arrogancy, and the psychological stuff. Do you believe that the MacBook has a better performance? MacBook always give us a more better performance. Than the than the IBM or the Lenovo Lenovo laptop, I don't think so. But how about why we choose MacBook? Because of the performance? No, that's cool. It looks cool. That give us that the, the MacBook give us a, a lot of the fun. Whenever I open my MacBook, I'm very proud of myself. I'm very happy. Don't you? Aren't you? Whenever I open my MacBook, and then when I do something, oh, sometimes I, I'm, I'm totally happy. Aha, this, this is totally cool. I love my MacBook. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of myself to open the MacBook and working something. Wow. That gave me a differentiated value. When I go to the lipstick, when I go to the luxury luxury department store, yeah, one of my most favorite behavior, when one of my most favorite something is, I go to the cosmetic shops. I just go to the cosmetic shops and then yeah, choose a lipstick or the choose a perfume or the choose something. Yeah, even though I do not buy and then however I just buy a, a small something and then to give somebody. Why not? Or sometimes I go to the luxury shops like Armani, Christian you know, or Dior or uh, luxury brand shops to enjoy myself. That gives us a differentiated value. I'm happy. Don't you? Aren't you? Okay. Oh, when you, yeah, the, okay. So, boys and uh, boys, maybe boys. What if? Imagine, okay. Imagine you are going to luxury car shops, okay, like a Benz. BMW and Audi. What else? Uh, well, what's your yeah? What's your favorite car brand? Boys, tell me. What is your favorite car brand? Benz, BMW, Audi, and what's your favorite brand? What's your favorite car? Weber. Weber. What's your favorite car? Virgo, what is your favorite car? Car friend? Bugatti. Ah, Bugatti Veyron. Oh. <laughs> Bugatti. Huh? Who's that? Moon. Nissan? Nissan? Nissan GTO? Ah. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. No, no, <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, as a former and former automotive engineer, uh, don't do that. Yeah, this one was my yeah, this one was my customer. Oh, mm, don't try that. <laughs> this no, choose another. You have tons of thousand better product. And how about the Maserati, Lamborghini, Lamborghini Montetato. <laughs> Ferrari, Ferrari, and what else? Ferrari, a uh, Porsche, absolutely. Uh, ladies, we are sorry, okay? Boys loved cars, love cars. So why people want to buy those kind of the luxury cars, luxury goods? We call those uh, luxury goods. Because of the price, 
because of the price? No, because of the unique value, differentiated value, differentiated huge experience, pride, cool image, brand, show off. Okay, so long story short, in practice, the there are only two competitive advantage in a specific market. Okay? There are only two competitive advantages in a specific market. Those are differentiated user experiences and cost leadership. Anything else? No. <laughs> what will happen if we fail in achieving the differentiated user experience or the cost leadership? We will be in the stuck in the middle and then we will be drained out from the market. That's all. That's so simple. If a business fail in achieving the differentiated user experience or the cost of leadership that give the maximum value for the customers they will survive they will win they will win without fighting however if you fail in providing the value you will be drained out that's all there is no between. There is no between. That is come from the Michael Porex. And he summarized that the competitive strategy like this. There is no between. What is now happening? MacBook survived. That one Lenovo is surviving. Samsung, HP, Sony, Asus is, survived, is now dying. And however, maybe we can apply that kinds of understandings into the mobile phone industry mobile phone okay so though maybe that is iPhone iPhone user okay okay so iPhone users please say yes okay let's count who are using the iPhone and personally, I am using the iPhone 7. It's old, but I am using the iPhone 7. Yes, yes, please say yes. Yes. Who, who else? Who else? Who else? Okay, Doris. Doris, Megan. Oh, Aurora. Mandy. Mandy Virgo. Uh -huh. I can, I can. Okay, good, good, good. And why did you choose iPhone? Because you want to have a differentiated or unique value. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how about the, yeah, somebody else? What kinds of the phone do you use now? Anybody who are using the another different phone from the iPhone? What kinds of phones do you have on your hand? Well. Lucy Moon, uh, Huawei, mm, Huawei, mm -hmm. Jenny, Huawei, Bebo, oh, okay, me too. Huh? I have a Huawei. Huh? Anybody else? That's a Huawei, Vivo, or is there anybody who has Oppo? No. Anybody else? Why did you choose the Huawei, Vivo, Oppo? Because that give you a optimal or the best quality in terms of the cost. Any problem? No problem. However, right. yeah. So, well, who is the number? Okay. So, what's going? Is there anybody who are using the Samsung Mobile, Samsung Galaxy? Is there anybody who are using the Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy, or LG, LG phone, or Sony phone? Anybody use the LG phone, Samsung phone, Sony phone, Ericsson? 
or Google phone. <laughs> what else? What kinds of oh, no, what kinds of okay so uh, Vivo no 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 okay that that's all yeah that that yeah uh, those kind of things. MS phone Microsoft phone. They are in here because they fail in giving us a unique or the differentiated value like iPhone. Or it fails those brand, the Ericsson, Sony, Samsung, LG, Galaxy, or the Google or Microsoft phones, they are failing in giving us the acceptable quality with the, the, with the best price. Because at the Huawei, Bebo, or Oppo, Bebo, okay, they give us the best option. They are draining out. Simple. If you, if your product, if your service, if your business is in the, in the stuck in the middle, you will get drained out. So then you must choose. You are going to here or you are going to here. Uh -huh. Now, you get to know, you get to know simple choice you get to know the very simple choice to create a strategy frankly speaking okay in business strategy we have only two choices two move we have only two move you are heading to the cost leadership or you are heading to the differentiated user experiences no more Which one is better? No, there is no one. There is no good and bad. There is no good and bad. Okay, that's just a choice, according to your choice. For example, okay, Apple. Apple's choice is here, and the Huawei, Huawei's choice is here, because they have a different situation. Any problem? No problem. However, nowadays, Apple is trying to capture at least now spending to here. Like, uh, do you know that the iPhone, uh, not an iPhone, iPhone, no, iPhone 8, uh, no, 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 iPhone SE, iPhone SE, iPhone, what is SE, iPhone SE, what is the version of that, iPhone SE, huh? do, yeah, do you know that uh, we will have, yeah, we will have, a yeah, it's a, now we, you can, you can buy the iPhone SE, in the market, do you do you have that? Yeah. Uh, hmm? Weber, oh, who, yeah, who has it? Megan, do you know that? Okay, so absolutely, oh. Okay, so because at the Apple want to cultivate this area, okay, that's the untapped area, so then. Absolutely, they are now proposing the iPhone SE. That's much more cheaper. That's much more cheaper. But how the best to give you give the customers a differentiated, unique, and the differentiated value. And what's going on with the Huawei? And the Huawei is now producing and suggesting a lot of luxury, luxury, the i luxury phones, especially for the uh, the best quality of picture, best quality picture okay uh, camera okay so Huawei is going to here they are now competing what's happening all this kind of a stuck in the middle players are now going out drained out two giant fight each other and the inner market and then many of they are squeezed and drained out so a long story short in a specific market there are only two competitive advantage in practice differentiated user experience or cost leadership that will be your choice it's better to make a choice and go for it go for it that's all okay in this week we will talk about it the how we can achieve the cost leadership and next week we will talk about it how we can achieve the differentiated 
user experience. Okay, good, good, good. So far, any question? Mainly, okay, in this week, we will talk about the cost advantage, cost leadership. Okay, there are only two competitive advantage, cost leadership or differentiated of this differentiated user experience. We call that as a cost advantage or the differentiation advantage. Whatever, this week we will mainly talk about the cost leadership, how we can achieve that the best cost leadership and providing the similar product or service, acceptable quality of something to customers at lowest cost than competitors. Okay, it's simple, it's that simple. In practice, business problem servers, we do not think very complex about competency, I don't care. I want to make it cheaper, I want to make it unique to make the people happy. That's all. Okay, good. And then we will keep talking about it, the cost advantage. Okay, how we can achieve that after tomorrow. Okay, so any question? So fast again. Yeah, uh, whenever I talk about it, the Versace, yeah, Lo, Lo, yeah, Louis Vuitton, BMW, Mercedes Benz, Maserati. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> yeah, Fulda, yeah, then, yeah, I am, yeah. I need, I need the capital. <laughs> I need the more capital. <laughs> That's the reason why I am very interested in the business, the business. <laughs> Isn't it? It's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so then if there is no any further questions, okay, so okay, so can I see you next, uh, can I see you Thursday? Can I see you Thursday? Okay, thank you, Uda. then I will see you, I will see you on Thursday. Oh, Sharon, hey, I say hello, Sharon, okay, well, bye. Hey, then bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good music. Okay. Ah, Nancy, Nancy, bye. Chauncey, bye. Uh, someone said if you couldn't afford the Maserati when you were born, you probably want to be able to afford the one for the rest of the life. Oh, uh, who said that? <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah, oh, no, 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 I have a scientific evidence, okay, so in China, you will, yeah, you can have a Maserati, maybe it takes time, yeah, maybe it takes time, but however, the, in China, okay, especially in Chinese society, absolutely, the 90, 97%, more than 97, more than 97% of the billionaires, or billionaires, they are, Okay, they are businesses. They are entrepreneurs. They started their own business. More than 97% of the billionaires in China, okay, they started their business and they make their money. Yeah, I agree with that word if you are, if you are born in Korea. In Korea, Okay, so the, the, the startups or the entrepreneurs, okay, the proportion of the entrepreneurs becoming a billionaire is less than the 10%. But however, yeah, yeah, you are born in China and then more than 97% of the billionaires, okay, so you start your business and you become make a lot of money. But however, even in, yeah, in Korea, mm, the society is very stable and that there is very little chance to, be, to start a business, to make a big business. 
Okay, 97%. And then U.S. around 70% or the European European countries like um, 60, 60, 60%. Okay, so but how the, yeah, absolutely. So I have a backup, don't worry. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you, and I will see you on Thursday. Maserati. No, you will buy the Maserati. And put, yeah, put, yeah, later, maybe, yeah, please, yeah, let me have a chance to take that. <laughs> okay, good. I will see you on Thursday. Bye.